My mom and dad do just about everything for me. <laughs> they drive forever, you know, for me back in the gym because we live an hour away. I just like appreciate everything that they do because they've like almost given up all their normal life for me, you know. And um, lots of times I don't say thank you, but thank you. <laughs> Home is far away from the stress of the gym. Her parents are still shy about the attention, and her family wants to help her forget gymnastics when she wants to. Every time you have to go to the camera. She's always at the gym, but you know, she's, I think she's having fun, so I hope, she has, hope she's having fun. She writes to fans about the fun in her website diary. She's candid about the good and the bad. And this is the monster she deals with, the place where the fun disappears and the pressure builds. If she's ever going to be an Olympic champion, she has to get her confidence back and conquer the uneven bars. Oh, but right there, just a little, a flicker of nerves. There and again, well. she is, she's improvising right now. This is, oh. Sorry. She said she was coming to St. Petersburg stronger than ever, but it still happened. Last night, Vanessa was nearly perfect on all events until the last rotation on the bars. It's as frustrating for her coaches as it is for her. After all, Vanessa's the gymnast everyone's watching. When I was little, I always wanted to be that person. You know, I always wanted to be that person where people said, oh, here, she's the next person. You know, But sometimes when they do that, there's just so much pressure. And, you know, like Kim Semeskel, that that's just awful what happened because so many people were expecting her to win. You know, and I think a lot of reasons why she's not satisfied was because of the media. It's almost like she felt like she failed, and she really did. She made the Olympic team, you know? And so I'm just going to really try my best. I really am. And, you know, put all my effort into it. And then, and then I'll know how good I really could be if I was third in the world or last.